Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson and today I'm in the photo studio with the Panasonic G7. Now we've seen compact system cameras from Panasonic before and we've seen 4K video from Panasonic cameras before and also the ability to extract 8 million pixel images from 4K footage. But the Panasonic G7 gives you three options of how you record that footage to get the stills that you want. And the first step is to turn the uh, drive mode dial to 4K photo mode. Then I press the menu and scroll down to 4K photo mode and there are three options. The top one is 4K burst and when I use that, if I press and hold the shutter release, it'll shoot 4K footage at 30 frames per second for as long as I hold the shutter release down. Then at the bottom there's the third option which is 4K pre-burst and when I select that the camera automatically starts scanning at 30 frames per second but it actually only shoots when I press the shutter release and it shoots uh, at 30 frames a second for a second before the shutter release is pressed and a second after so you get 60 frames in total but I'm going to use the middle option here today which is 4k burst start stop and that works quite uh, simply by I press it the shutter release it starts recording I press the shutter release to stop recording so that's really convenient because with this setup I want to be able to set the recording going pour the um, sweets that I've got here and then stop it recording Okay, so I've set up a scene, we've got a nice uh, clean black uh, surface to pour the sweets on. I'm just touching the screen to set the autofocus point and then I'm going to switch to manual focus so it doesn't change. So I've got the sweets already, I just press the shutter release to start recording and then I pour them. And then I can press the shutter release again to stop recording. So let's see what we've got. So that's the shot recorded and obviously we've got an mp4 file of uh, 4k footage but we can also extract 8 million pixel images from it. So the first thing I do is press playback and now I can press the up key to draw up the footage and now I can start scrolling through the images and I've got quite a bit where there's nothing happening so I just scroll through those, get to the end of the first sequence just touch that yellow arrow there while it uploads the next sequence. Now you can see it's, the action started quite like that image, so I'm just going to press set and then I can save that and that'll be saved as an 8 million pixel JPEG. As you can see Panasonic makes it really easy to do this in camera but you can also do it using Photoshop or Lightroom if you prefer but I think this is a nice straightforward approach. What's nice about the 4K photo mode is that it opens up some creative opportunities because you're shooting at 30 frames per second. But the downside, of course, is that you're actually getting 8 million pixel images instead of 16 million pixels from your camera. But you can still make A3 prints from an 8 million pixel image. Anyway, that's a little bit about 4K photo mode on the Panasonic G7.